Hello my people, welcome back to another crochet tutorial. My name is Agnes in case you're new to this channel and in this tutorial we are going to be doing this cut. I got this inspiration and I posted this on my Instagram and asked if you were interested and most of you said yeah you were interested and I should recreate it. So I went ahead and did that. It's quite easy. We are just going to be using the granny ripple stitch. So basically we are going to make a rectangle that looks like this and then turn it into a skirt. So it's so easy for even beginners, you will be able to make this. And yeah, that's it. So before we get into the tutorial, I wanted to say thank you for those of you who became members to my channel. If you wish to support my channel like Shay, Denise, Bevelyn and Lynn have done. So please just go to my uh, description box, click on the link or go to my profile and just click join and you will become a member of my channel this is to just show your support and appreciation for the time i put into making these videos and help me with supply so let's get into the tutorial uh, for this tutorial i'm going to be using this yarn from hobby it's friends cotton 8 over 8 and i'm going to leave a link in the description box where you can access this yarn it's you can use any other yarn but i think this cotton yarn just looks the colors are amazing so it's a hundred percent cotton and yeah it's a size three yarn so you can use any other size three yarn for the hook size it's uh, recommends a four to four point five but i will be using a three point five in this tutorial because i want the stitches tighter so if you want tight stitches then go a hook uh, size lower all right this is size three you can get this by clicking the link in my description box or you can just use any other yarn okay this is how i'm going to arrange the colors but i will change this you are going to also need a dunning needle uh, you're going to need scissors and a tape measure for the hook size like i said i'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter hook but you can use uh, any hook size that you want that your yarn recommends i just recommend that you go a size lower for tighter stitches okay so we are going to begin for this tutorial, we are going to be working with multiples of 18. Multiples of 18 means 18 plus 18 plus 18 or a number that you can divide by 18 and have an even number as the answer. So we are going to begin with a slip knot. So make a slip knot. I make mine like this and then you're going to make 18 chains plus 18 chains plus 18 chains until you have your hips measurements minus two inches if you're using this cotton yarn i know for for uh, acrylic yarn it can be a little bit more stretchy so you might want to make your hips measurements minus four inches so this is going to be hips measurements minus two if you're using cotton and minus four if you're using acrylic all right so it's 18 stitches plus 18 chains chain sorry so which ch i chain at another 18 multiples of 18 18 plus 18 plus 18 until you have your hips measurements minus two if you're using acrylic hips measurements minus four inches all right i'll see you when you have your inches so i have mine and i'm um, hips measurements 33.5 all right so i have let's see here because i've folded this into two it's about uh, 16 so it's 32 inches all right so it's 32 inches of hips uh, of my foundation chain i have hips measurements at 3.5 so since we're working in in multiples of 18 you see it's only one and a half because if i made less than that then it would be much less than 30 30 31.5 so i'll just go with one and a half it's all right and if you're using acrylic minus four if you're using uh, cotton minus two inches okay so we want to start on row one. 
all right so you have your chain like this and you can make this in any size okay just take your hips measurements minus two so don't count this as a, a chain so we are going to go into our fifth chain right so just yarn over one two three sorry one two three four into our fifth chain is where we are working so one two three four into the fifth one we make a double crochet so that first chain four star, uh, is a stitch so in this very same stitch we are going to make another double crochet and in that very same stitch we'll make our third double crochet and this is how our clusters will be we'll be making clusters and each cluster contains three double crochets all right so you are going to skip two chains and into the third chain you will make your second cluster okay so skip two chains one two and into the third chain make a cluster a cluster is three double crochets in one stitch so that's one go into the very same stitch make your second double crochet and then into the same stitch make your third double crochet so these are two clusters now we need to make our third cluster so skip two stitches and into the third stitch make a cluster you can work in those two if you want but i'm working in just one loop so go into your third chain and make a cluster and by the way we are working from bottom to top of our skirt so we have three clusters and it's going to be three clusters each so we have three clusters and now we need to make our peak so how do we make a peak a peak we chain three and into that very same stitch here where we worked our third cluster we are going to work another cluster so this is how we make the peak so we are working two clusters in one stitch separated by a chain three and this cluster here is going to be our first cluster and then we need to make two more because we're making three clusters three clusters three clusters so skip two chains and into the third one make a cluster so that's going to be our second cluster and then we are going to make our third cluster before we make a valley so skip two and into the third chain make your third cluster all right so now we have this we have our first peak now we need to make a valley so for the valley we are going to be skipping five stitches and then into the sixth stitch we make our cluster okay so it is three clusters and then three clusters down and now we make a valley so you're going to skip one one two three four five and then into the sixth one you are going to make a cluster one two three four five into the sixth stitch make a cluster so that will be cluster number one okay so that's our valley there all right so cluster number one now we go to cluster number two which will be skip two chains and into the third chain make a cluster And then our third cluster, we are going to skip two chains and into the third stitch make a cluster. So what do we make next? We make a peak. Okay, so we have a peak, a valley, now we make a peak. So how do you make a peak? You 
chain three and in that very same stitch you work another cluster all right so in this very same stitch here make another cluster and that cluster will be cluster number one for the next uh, part so that's one skip two into the third one make your second cluster and then skip two into the third stitch make your third cluster And then what do we have next because now we have our three clusters we had our peak so now we need to make a valley all right so how do you make a valley for the valley you are going to skip five stitches and make a cluster into the sixth stitch okay so make your first cluster skip two make your th your second cluster and basically this is the pattern you're just going to continue doing this until you get to the end and i will meet you so valleys and peaks valleys and peaks peaks and valleys peaks and valleys and i'll see you when you are at the end so we have three clusters before the peak three clusters before the valley just like that right simple right yeah so i'm done and this is our row one we have one stitch left but this is how it should look like by now you can see your valleys and peaks so for the last stitch you are simply going to make a double crochet in that very last one so you have three and then one stitch left make a double crochet and this mimics um, the first chain uh, four we had at the beginning okay so then you're going to chain one and you're going to cut off your yarn leaving a tail that you'll be able to weave in okay so that is row one done now i need to change color if you're changing color after every row like me then this is your time to change if you're making two rows of one color then you just don't have to cut your yarn now so we are going to go on top of this first double crochet here insert a hook and reattach our yarn leaving a tail that we can weave in later this is how i reattach my yarn and then we're going to make Cha four chains three and four four chains yep right okay so you're going to yarn over and we're going to make our first cluster in between the first two clusters here all right so go in between these two clusters and you're going to make your first cluster all right between this space right here so that means you're making three double crochets in that space. So that is our first cluster. And like we said before, we need to make three clusters before we go to the next one. So our next one is going to be between these two clusters in that space. That's our second cluster. And then our third cluster is going to be here at the top so in this chain space we make our third cluster so now we are going to chain three All right one two three so three clusters done now we chain three because we want to go to the other side and then in that same space chain space you're going to make a cluster so that we complete our peak that is our first cluster going down now we are going to make two more clusters so you are going to be making clusters in every chain in every space so 
I'm going to go in between these two clusters in that space and make a cluster. That's my second one. And then my last one is between these two clusters. So that's my third one. And now we're going to make a valley. So we have one, two, three. Now it's time for a valley. All right, so our peak is done. Now we need to make the valley. So how do we make the valley? So you are just going to skip this space here. All right, skip this. And then we are, so you're skipping two clusters and then work in that space right in between the second cluster and the third cluster. So make a cluster in there and don't forget to skip that, otherwise your work will not have valleys. All right, so that's the first one. And then you're going to go on and make your second one right into the next space. So this is your second cluster. And then your third one should be at the top in that change space. All right. And then you're going to chain three for this peak here and make a cluster in that same chain space. So that's cluster number one. Then make cluster number two in that space between the previous two clusters. And then cluster number three. And make a valley. Let's repeat this. Two and three. And so we have our three clusters and now we need to make a valley. So skip this space. Skip this space here and go into the next space and make a cluster. Next cluster. And your third one should be in that chain space at the top. So basically this is it. You're just going to repeat this until you get to the end. And I'll meet you at the end to show you how we finish this off. All right. So see you at the end. Don't forget the valleys. Don't forget the valleys. All right. Peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. Three clusters. Okay. I'll see you at the end. All right, so I've come to the end and this is uh, my three last clusters. So we are going to make a double crochet on top of the previous chain uh, four. All right, so on top of this chain four here, I'm just going to go in and make a double crochet like this. All right, then chain one, cut your yarn, leaving uh, a tail and then pull through. All right, next color, next row. So I uh, will be using this yellow. So uh, reattach your yarn and then chain four. One, two, three, four. And then it's going to be the same thing. So I'm going to go in between these two spaces, these two uh, clusters and make a cluster. So that's going to be my first cluster. Then go into the next space between the next two clusters and make a cluster. That's my second cluster. And then my third cluster is going to be at the top. So into this chain space, I make my third cluster. All right, so you already know the pattern now. So after three clusters, chain three 
and into that very same space you are going to make a cluster so that's our peak in between the two clusters make a cluster that's your second cluster and then in between the next two make your third cluster so then we make now a valley so you make the valley by skipping two clusters okay so skip these two clusters don't work in that space but go into the next space and make a cluster so we've made our valley there that's our first cluster and then you're going to make your second third and then a peak like that and just continue repeating this until you get to the end and i'm going to meet you at the end so that we can finish it off and start on the next row all right so i'm coming to the end i already have my three clusters so you know what is next a double crochet on top of the previous chain four so let's make a double crochet chain one cut off your yarn and pull through then you start on the next color basically it is a repeat of row two keep repeating row two so i'm just going to show you one last time every time we are turning our work every time we are turning our work i think i forgot to tell you that so we turn our work at the end of every row so just go in again chain one i mean chain four make your first cluster in between those two previous clusters second cluster third cluster that is at the top in that chain three space mm. and we are making a peak so chain three first cluster in that very same space And we are going to continue making this pattern like that until so take your measurements either you want your skirt high waist or you want it low waist i don't know i wanted mine high waist so i took from my high waist to the bottom of my uh, legs and that was uh, 40 inches so and i will come back to you when i have five inches left to my so when i have 35 inches i'll come back to you so that we can make some reductions so do the same measure how long you want your skirt to be and then subtract five or six inches from that and then we meet when you have six inches or five inches to go i'll come back when i have five inches to go okay mine is 40 inches and i'm a short person i'm five five one so yeah i'll come back when i have 35 inches so that we can work on the next part all right so measure yourself see how long you want it to be that uh, number of inches uh, remove five from that and then i'll meet you when you yeah you have five inches to go okay is it understood yeah so just keep repeating the same pattern it's a it's a repeat of one row basically and keep changing colors whichever way you want to arrange your colors and i'll meet you back there all right so see you in a few So this is how my 35 inches looks like. All right. And now I want to do a few rows of reduction. We are only going to be reducing these three uh, here and three uh, cl clusters on this other side. So we are only reducing three clusters on each side. Okay. So how do we do that? So you are going to 
I'm just going to take my next color. I think I want to switch up the colors a little bit from, you can see from here, I just switch it up, switch it up a little bit. Um, so I think, let me use this pink here. So already turned my work. I'm going to reattach my yarn. And this is how we're going to be getting rid of those three clusters. So instead of going into that very first stitch, I'm going to go into this stitch on top of the first cluster that first double crochet there so reattach my yarn chain four and then instead of going in this space i'm going to go into the second space and make a cluster all right so i'm not going into the first space like we were doing before instead i'm going into the second space so let's make one cluster and then since we didn't make a cluster in the first one, so I will be having only two clusters at the end before I make the peak. So it's two clusters and then the peak. So you're going to chain three and we are only making reductions at the beginning of the row, only at the beginning. So from now on, it's going to be just the same three clusters, three clusters, and I'll meet you at the end, okay? All right, so this is where I started and this is my ending. All right, so I ended it right the same way. So now I need to start on the second row of reduction. All right, so we are only making reductions at the beginning. So go into this top of this uh, double crochet on your first cluster. We are only making reduction at the beginning. So reattach your yarn, chain four. And how do we make the reduction? We skip this space and go into the second space and make a cluster. So that's our first cluster since we had not reduced on this side. So this is also going to be our second cluster. And then you're going to chain three. And just continue the pattern as before. We're only making reductions at the beginning, people. Okay, so the only change is at the beginning. So the rest is the same like before. Okay. So go on, finish this, and then I'll meet you again. So we have two. For this row so this is where we are at and as you can see I went on and did uh, that also in red and I kept re reducing reducing at the end of every row and now I want to show you once we get to this peak how do we do that okay so I only have one remaining so I want to show you once we get to the peak how we do that so go on reducing until you get where you have only one cluster to the peak all right so i'll show you now so like i said we are only reducing at the beginning so i reattach my yarn there and then chain four and then make a cluster so since we have the peak, we are just going to not chain the chain three, okay? So just go straight into the next, your second cluster, like that, all right? And then just continue the pattern. So this is going to be a third cluster, and then you do the valley. So now we do the valley and continue the same pattern i'll meet you at the end all right so i came to the end and this is how it looks like it's done then now i need to go to the next row all right so this you finish it like before with that double crochet and now we reduce on this side again so we want to get rid of this so it's chain four And then we go in with our first cluster.
then no chain three so we don't chain three so just go on to the second cluster third cluster and then a valley all right And then our first cluster and basically this is it you're just going to go all the way to the end and i'll see you at the end to show you what we do next so i'm coming to the end and now i have two as you can see and i need three so i'm just going to go into this space here between the cluster and the double uh, chain four and make my last one my last cluster okay so cut off your yarn and now we need to jo you, we need to do what everybody hates. This is the part where we do what everybody hates, and that is sewing in our ends. All right. So get your darning needle. I'm just going to show you roughly how I do it. It's not the best way, but I'm sure there are ways out there you can do this best. But since we are having one row of it, a different color, we are going to sew in every color in its row like this. So I'm not going to be very perfect. I'll just sew in like, like this because I don't have the patience. So I do it roughly. You will not see it. So. If you are very patient, if you are a very patient person, then you can do it more neater than me. I just don't have the patience. This is the most boring part of crochet, really. Unless there's somebody that loves to sew in ends. I don't know. I've never met someone that loves that. If you love to sew in ends, please tell me in the comments. Or if you don't, then... Just let me know that I'm not alone. All right, for this part is going to be a bit different. So what we will do is just go sewing through this chain for first. Like go in, go out, go in, go out like this. And then just take it to the other side. Don't make it tight, okay? Don't make it tight. Just loosely so that your chain four is not losing shape. Oh, the struggle is real. Then cut off. Cut off. This is going to take me a while, so I will see you when I'm done with all this. All right, we did it and we are done. So <laughs> we now want to, I'm going to use a smaller hook for this one, a three millimeter hook, because we want to work on the final touches of our waist and joining this skirt where we leave the slit. So this is the part. All right, so. Take your smaller hook size and let's join this. All right. So this is what we'll do. You're going to take your yarn. You're working on the right side, on the right side, people. So go through these two points here, the beginning and the end of the rectangle. And like I said, I work from bottom to top. So. My top is going to be the top of my skirt. So join these two and we are going to work clusters still. So chain three, first space there, make a cluster. We want to make it a little bit flatter than it was. So we'll get rid of the valleys and the, and the peaks. So how do we get rid of the peak? Oh, this is the valley. So in the valley, we are going to work in that valley. So this is the first time you're making a cluster in the valley. Okay, make the cluster in the valley. 
all right then you're just going to continue in every space now make a cluster all right and now we want to get rid of that peak so what we'll do is we will make a cluster in that chain space and only one cluster only one cluster don't chain three please so get rid of that so we are just going to go right into the next and make a cluster all right and you're just going to continue doing that work in the valleys and don't make any peaks I only did this for one row, but you can do this for two rows. And yeah, so just work in that valley, make a cluster in that valley. And you're going to just repeat this until you get to the end. I will meet you at the end so that we can start on the next row. So I got to the end and this chain three at first is going to count as a stitch. So I'll just go into this space here and make two double crochets just to finish that cluster off. And then on top of that chain three, make a slip stitch. All right, so I want to change color. You can make another row of this, but I just wanted to make one. And now I want to make a row of half double crochets. I'll make two rows of half double crochets. If you are already someone who has very big hips, you can make some reduction on this uh, uh, half double crochet rows. But yeah, my hips are really tiny, so I will not make any reductions. I will make half double crochets in every stitch but if you are someone with big hips and a very small waist then you can make maybe a reduction after like every six rows i mean stitches so, so we are going to make double crochet half double crochets people half double crochets in every stitch it's always at the end of the video that i'm so tired i do voiceover so imagine i have to Make a voiceover over this whole work, 45 minutes. By the end of it, I'm just tired. So make a half double crochet in every stitch till the end. I'll meet you here. So I'm at the end of my row of half double crochets and I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of this chain and then cut off my yarn and start on another row of half double crochets uh, if you've noticed i'm working only in one direction all right these are final touches we're working everything in one direction all right so i want to change color and this is the color that i want to also join my work with so think about that what color you want you to be your last color because it's the same that you will join your work with. I mean, the joining we do before the slit. Yeah, so make one half double crochet in every stitch. And if you're wondering if the, the waist is too big, I mean, it's too small than the hips, how will it, will it pass over your hips? Please pass it over your head, okay? Yes, so I'm at the end and you're going to close this off with a slip stitch. All right, so now we want to join this part of the slit. So just know, just determine where you want your slit to reach and then you're going to join until that point. Okay, so we'll make single crochets across. So just go in there with single crochets. As you wish there's no formula for this some I'm just working single crochets over this work So 
So I've reached where I have this that is not joined, two panels, two parts, two panels, two parts. So anyway, I'm going to be working two single crochets in the space and then a single crochet in this. It's like top of the of the stitch. Just watch. I can't explain it. It's hard to explain. So why is this hard? Come on, come on, come on. All right, got it. So in this space, two single crochets and the other top of the stitch or is it at the bottom i don't know whichever make a single crochet then in this space two single crochets at the top of the stitch or bottom single crochet all right go until you have where you want your silhouette to be i want mine to be around here okay Yeah, that number of rows. So I'm at the end and I'm done with my single crochets. So the rest, you can do this lining. Is it? No. Uh, go all the way down if you want, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do the puff stitch just to make it look nice and neat. So let's make the puff stitch. So chain one, chain two actually. All right, so if you want to be all the way in it, all the way down, you can do that. Uh, but it's really not necessary. And I just realized I worked on the wrong side and uh, not the right side. I should have worked on the right side. And now all this, uh, yeah, it will not show when I wear it anyway. So <sighs> chain two. Then go into that very first stitch and make a puff stitch so i'm going in four times that was fast let's repeat that for the people that don't know a puff stitch so i go in like one yarn over go in twice yarn over go in three times yarn over go in four times and then pull through all puff stitch chain one skip one into the second stitch make a puff stitch so make a, a half double crochet sorry half double crochet and then make a puff stitch in that space this space here go one time two times three times four times pull through all chain one skip one half double crochet and then puff stitch in that space go one time two times three times and four times pull through all single crochet ah chain <laughs> oh my goodness please be done so make the puff stitch all the way to the top people puff stitch all the way to the top and i'll see you there all right all right so i'm done with my puffs and now we close it off with a slip stitch at the top and I'm just going to slip stitch again like this, just to make it secure and again on this side, make it secure. And then chain one, cut off your yarn and basically you are done. We are done. Oh, you need a drawstring just in case your waist is not small enough, you know, to adjust your waist. So make, just cut off part of your yarn. Mine is going to be the color that is at the top, which is a purple. You can do this with single crochets if you want, but I don't want that. So cut off your yarn. I mean, cut a piece of your yarn and pass it through the stitches at the top. And then you can be able to adjust your waist by, you know, tightening it or loosening it. 
and that's what I did. So if you see fitting my waist very well, it's because I have a drawstring in there. All right, so this is our skirt. It looks like this and it's quite pretty. These colors are so pretty. Like, go buy the yarn. The link is in my description box or in the comment section. I will leave in both. So thank you so much for watching, people. I hope you like the skirt. If you do, let me know in the comment section. Leave a like and share. Please share this video. Let it go viral. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please become members to my channel. You can always cancel your membership whenever you want. So I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye, guys.